are going racing. New team for 2023. We got Emmett. Ah. We got Lily. I've never felt this class. Brett, head mechanic. Yeah, Riley. Today is the day. That turned into not so bad a race. So this is an ECM Synchronica. Uh, ECM stands for Espresso Coffee Machine. Ooh, look at that crema. Pretty nice. It might be the best, you know, the home setup. I don't know if we're gonna find anything better than that. Yeah, I would give this this prototype maybe like a seven out of 10. ALN likes a good coffee for sure. I mean, like, you know, I'll make myself a good cup of coffee, but it's even better if someone else makes it. You got some essentials here? Yeah. <laughs> How much yarn do you have? I try not to buy any, but you know, it just happens. They, you touch them, they're nice, they're soft, they're colorful. This is what I'm working on now. I've already started thinking about what I'm gonna knit for Lily this summer, and she's giving me drawings and inspo, so we'll see where that goes, and I'm excited to enjoy um, her hobby, which is baking. I like to make cookies. I make a lot of cookies. I draw a lot when I travel. Oh, like here's one that I like drew the mountains in Val de Fassa. I love coffee. I do. I definitely think it, it's sus that Emma doesn't drink coffee. I don't hate coffee. I do like a nice latte or something like that, but uh, I don't know. Never got addicted. I think Remy and Aylen have kind of found their own like chilling hobbies. And I don't think I've really developed that yet. Everything I do is kind of a uh, go out and do it. I think more of like a chill hobby would be something that I want to find this year. Okay, so new team, new cameraman. We're going with uh, Kaz, a new filmer. For 2023, we got Emmett, we got Lily, and we got Brett, head mechanic. For the first two rounds of EDR, we are headed out to Australia. First round is in Medina. Medina? Medina. Medina. I think so. Or Medina. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to get going. We're excited to see how everything takes together. It's 2023 and we are going racing. One flat white, please. So the the coffee at Medina Bike Park, I would give maybe a six out of ten. So like not bad. That's like a passing grade for sure. We are at Medina Bike Park for the first race of the year, around one of the EDR. World Cup. Yesterday, did some, some laps in the bike park and kind of got the lay of the land. So coming 11th overall last year and having like a podium and some other really good results makes me feel pretty good coming into this season. It's pretty awesome to be on a team that has so much experience and so much knowledge to draw from. I definitely look up to both Remy and ALN from all the experience they have and every day I think something new to learn. I'm up in Elite this year and uh, feeling pretty good. Stoked but nervous. Lots of lines, it's dead super wide. So, gotta make some decisions. Oh, uh, it's quite the corridor. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I was really happy about all the stages until that one. <laughs> Now I'm a little scared. Very long and physical, so yeah, it'll be a good test. Uh, Brett, our new mechanic, has brought the Rubik's Cube and he can solve it really fast. 
I'm using YouTube. MX says he's not. I'm gonna do the Rubik's Cube, dude. No YouTube. No instructions. Find the white centerpiece and keep that on top. Now we're in the groove. We're just gonna race as fast as we can from the top to the heel to the bottom of the heel. <laughs> and uh, the goal is actually to win um, and then once we've won we can uh, you know have beer <laughs> <laughs> practice was yesterday i think everyone had a good day the tracks are mental like so fun each and every one of them first lead stage ready to drop in a stage one That turned into not so bad a race. Never can start fast enough. And then I'm just always pulling back time throughout the day. It's pretty much the name of my racing. My arms were going at the end, like I had some serious arm pump, but yeah, it was really good. I'm stoked to have it over with. Lots of nerves coming into this one and good warm up and I was happy with how I rode. Just not what I want to showcase. Really timid riding. Um, I felt so good in practice and then jumped into the first stage and it was a huge shock, super hard stage. Glad to have this day behind me and I know I can do so much better. My day was pretty good. It was a really physical course and it was hard to get like back into like the racing mindset but I'm stoked to have the first race done and I feel like there's lots I can improve on and learn from. Overall the weekend with the team, fresh team, new mechanic, new manager, new teammates, very smooth. And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. Good dude, not good. There's lots of rocks to slip on. <laughs> a few members of our team have caught an illness. It's, it's sad days here in the Rocky House. Emmett's a little under the weather, Brett's a little under the weather, but Lily and I and ALN have been doing our best to just, you know, give them a respectful distance so, uh, they can do their thing and we can do ours. They can not get sick. Are you alive? Kind of. Laid in bed all day. Threw up a few times. Today is a day. I swear I'm having a good time. Having fun on the bike. It's just. All the in-betweens that kind of suck. Pedaling in the rain. <laughs> Practice ended up being so rainy that it felt like we went swimming for seven hours. And uh, yeah, mix that with some um, virus or bug or sickness, whatever you want to call it. That's literally going through the house right now. It was a really hard day. Feeling pretty run down today, but I'm staying positive. Fingers crossed that my strength, mental strength and physical strength and immune system strength can all come together and make this race happen for me. The girls are still fighting out there. I think it's tough as well. I think they're both feeling a little bit under the weather, but they're fighting hard, you know? And on weekends like this, that's all you can do. Congratulations. Okay, hold on, lady. Very cool. I 
so happy to be done. I'm just so happy I finished. I've never felt this class in my life. <laughs> Take a deep breath for me. Any pain in chest at all? I mean, I hit pretty through. hard, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, let's go. I'm good. Good. See you again, mate. Oh, hey. yeah. Yeah. Really didn't think I was gonna cry, and then as soon as I saw you guys, I just fucking started crying so much. <laughs> I was like fine on the You're ride down. Cry, cry. Sometimes it does happen. I was sleep. taking the risks I wanted a lot. So it was like really muddy coming in. So I like got kicked a little bit. So I was like kind of come over the first rock a little bit like sideways. And then the second rock there's like, I just like got pitched for it a bit too much. Yeah, so I just like put my, my bike was just like a bit too no, far down and then just, just couldn't hold it. Just the fact that you're like, there was a climb right before that and you're like a little bit gassed. And <laughs> you're right. Just a tough weekend. Everyone got sick. I was the only one who didn't get sick. Emmett's been fighting harder than all of us. Probably got the most sick out of everyone and he's at home in bed, I think, so. Feel for the kid. It's not always easy, these races. These are some of the toughest races in the world. So yeah, we just packed up, a um, bit of a slow morning, but we're all packed now and this is it. We're, we're heading to the airport and flying out in the morning. Tough weekend, but you know, we're feeling better today. I think everyone's licked their wounds a little bit and uh, that was it. Thanks Tasmania, you've been uh, awesome. All right, Rocky Mountain fans, see you in finale.